Here is the given statement it said mode two two can only be started once mode two one is running. Uh, the image stop uh, stop both motors at the at any time when both motors are running they can be stopped immediately by respective stop buttons motor one can only be arrested unless motor two is stopped so when you start by writing this uh, this circuit stuck by a DOL you start by DOL like this statement Motor 2 can only be started after motor. Motor 1 it's running. So on this one, that means you have a motor. Motor 1 running like this. Start button. That's DOL. This is your DOL. So motor one is running, but you cannot start motor two. So that means if they said you cannot start motor two, that means we have this in series, the interlock from motor one. This one you have to close before you can press that button, like this. So if they said you cannot start because when you press this one is not closed. This one is not uh, energized. My motor one is not energized. You won't start it. So set the emergency. The emergency stop both motors. So you have you have one emergency here. At the top, you have emergency stop button here. We have one emergency so it can stop both motors. And then what else? When both motors are running, they can only be stopped immediately. So a stop button. So you will have one stop button here. As well. So the last statement said motor one can only be restarted unless motor. Mode 1 cannot be restarted unless mode 2 is stopped. So if they say like that, that means you cannot start here. So you have a normally close for mode 2. When, uh, when mode 2 energize, this one open. So when you start it while like this one, it's running. It's not closed. It's not energized. It's open. It won't start because this the circuit must first energize in order to um, to to close here. So yeah. the diagram will be like this here. Yeah. Circuit diagram. So we have to put a voltmeter. This is a voltmeter. So in case they said put a. a what to say I mean you can put it here but here is not necessary you have to put it on here you have to put it on what you call on main circuit not here so overload of mode 1 overload of mode 2 so here you have to check on your overload there's 95 96 95 96 is where you have to connect this and then you take it to your emergency stop so as you can see emergency stop is not the same as uh, your start button your start button is pressed to make and then this one 
stop press to break when you press this one this one will break this then this one you just need to close here just press to so you have a one here a two on your con coil your coil you check at the top of your coil a one a two and then here you have to check this whether it's 13 or 14 depends so this come from your you will connect from 13 and the other one here from 14 this is your m2 so you connect on your normally close maybe it's 21 22 this is your normally close contact and then from your 22 you connect to your 14 here you are doing your your button you just connect to 21 so as you can see when you press start button this one will run and then this one is a normally open it keeps on open because this one is energized to close here yeah? when this one close now you can start when you start this one energize and close then you can run but this one opens when it's open and then you stop motor one this is the motor one so it will stop this when the energize when this one loses then when you start again this one is open the current can't flow here yeah. so this is the next statement so when you start writing your sequence you can start by writing 2 dol your 2 dol like this and then you listen to your statement what does it say and listen to your statement what does it say like this so you have motor one motor two so if they say motor one when motor one start motor two cannot be started that means you have to put them normally open so if like they say yeah motor two cannot be restarted motor one cannot be restarted unless motor two put the normally close yeah. so you can check out for more other option so this is a start start and then the difference between putting your interlock here 